Big Team in pure road games this year. St. Mary's 8-0 away from home. Sack break, deep position on Sam Hand. The jump hook gets the friendly bounce. Here come the Zags, down by two. Well, Gonzaga understands one of the best ways to defend Omar Samhan is to make him work on the defensive end. Robert Zachary has the size to lay on Omar and get in position. And you see he's doing damage here in the last couple minutes. A 7-1 run for the Zags has cut the lead down to two. Matthew Delvadova wanting that high screen roll. He's going to have to attack the paint area to the corner to Steindl. Got a three. Clint Steindl. He's got tremendous upside, Bob. At 6'7, plays the perimeter. Can stroke the three, can also put it on the deck. Zach Bray comes up short. How about the follow, though? Kelly Olenek sails in to tap home the putback. Kelly Olenek. I think has a bright future and could possibly play at the next level if he continues to improve his game. Very skilled at 6'11. And if he can show the effort like that on the offensive glass, those are bonus points for Gonzaga. Allen has it taken away by Bolden. Bolden averages about 1.7 steals per game. And Bolden just plays the game at such a nice pace. It looks like he's almost coasting, but he's always able to come up with the play at the right time. Zachary in the post again. Lost it. Out of bounds. Olenek on the offensive glass. Well, this is an area that Gonzaga dominated in their first matchup this year. No one lays a body on Kelly Olenek at 6'11", and he gets a running start. Awfully difficult to keep off the offensive glass. Olenek sits down as Elias Harris comes back on. Omar Samhan just took a seat for the first time as well for St. Mary's. Mitchell Young has returned. So now you'll see St. Mary's change up a little bit offensively. Ben Allen almost breaks out in highs when he posts up in the paint. He doesn't get down there that often. That's there where he is from the corner. A little too strong. And the freshman, and a good-looking freshman he is, Elias Harris with the rebound. Gonzaga really trying to get Robert Sacre going early, but they need to get Elias Harris off the block as well. Sacre lobs it into traffic and a foul called. ESPN Saturday primetime heads to Lexington this week for an SEC showdown at 9 Eastern. It's number two, Kentucky, and their freshman phenom, John Wall, against number 12, Tennessee. Saturday night primetime presented by DirecTV, part of Rivalry Week. Coverage begins with college game day, driven by State Farm at 8 Eastern. Kong with a three on the way. Bull Kong knocks down a triple, and we are tied. Bob, you know those tours that college teams go to Canada and play around Labor Day. Bull Kong is sort of an urban legend. Teams would come up to Canada and play, and he dropped 30 on them. You can see why right now. Ability to shoot the three, nice size on the wing. Really a nice compliment off the bench for Mark Hughes. Harris fouled as he put the shot up. Well, they call him King Kong here in Gonzaga. Bold Kong stepping out from three, and that's where he's highly effective. And both of these teams, Bob, have impressive size, especially for the West Coast Conference. You start, you look at Zachary and Omar Samhan in the paint, and then you look on the wings, Mitchell Young for St. Mary's, Ben Allen at 6'10", 6'11", and then on the Gonzaga side, we saw Will Foster come off the bench at 7'5", so impressive side on both teams. And the backdoor cut by Kong, he scored the last five, and Gonzaga with the lead. The St. Mary's did a, has done a really good job early of trying to keep the crowd out of the game, but here they come. McConnell with a jumper, a rainbow jumper that comes up short, and the loose ball tracked down by Bolden. And Mickey McConnell, deadly from long range, but really hasn't had an opportunity to get an open look. Gonzaga making him put it on the deck, where he's less effective on the move, as opposed to being a standstill shooter.
Bolden just about came up with a terrific pass to Elias Harris. Harris couldn't hold on. Sometimes the guys that are artful passers almost surprise their teammates. And coming up shortly, we're going to show you how good of a passer Matt Bolden is. Yeah, Matt Bolden. Coach Steve tells his players, run with your hands up. Because if you don't, you'll get hit in the head with the ball. <laughs> and Matt Bolden just has an uncanny ability of putting the ball where the player is before he gets there. Bella Vadova hits Sam Hand in the hands. It's another turnover for St. Mary's. But what does Matt Bolden have in, com in common with Drew Brees? We'll tell you when we come back. T. Rowe Price, Gonzaga with the two-point lead over St. Mary's. And Matt Bolden, as you said, can pass the rock. Yeah, just take a look at some of the things here. The state of the art, he throws the ball like Drew Brees where the player isn't, and then all of a sudden the ball beats the player right there, hitting his teammate underneath the basket. Just an uncanny ability to set his teammates up. Here he follows up on the shot. But Matt Bolden is the type of player that can see the play develop before it actually happens. That's a pretty good list to be a part of. If you're on the all-time Gonzaga assist list, I mean, you're about 150 assists behind a 19-year automatic Hall of Famer. There he is. Well, and people know about John Stockton. They hear about Jeremy Pargo because he's been here recently. But you Blake Step and Matt Santangelo, those were outstanding lead guards. And to be considered in their company is quite an honor. Soft touch inside by Elias Harris. Oh, that's unusual. Matt Bolden reaching in in the backcourt, 80 feet away from the bucket. Don't usually see him make middle errors like that. Bolden's first, and it was a cheap one. Not only is that Bolden's first, but it's also the seventh team foul called against Gonzaga. So now. You take an 89% free throw shooter who's in the top 15 in the country and Della Vadova, and you give him a chance to score some cheap points at the free throw line. Uh, right here, I don't know what can be gained here besides just trying to push the ball up. It looked pretty obvious. Got him across the wrist. And you talk about the perfect scenario for St. Mary's on the road, only down two with seven and a half minutes left. They're in the bonus. Great recipe for success here in the first half by St. Mary. Zach Ray just dumps it over the top of Sam Hand. And St. Mary's is the number one free throw shooting team in the West Coast Conference. Gonzaga is last. Well, two things that don't last very long, Bob. Dogs that chase cars and teams that can't hit free throws very well. <laughs> so if, if Gonzaga doesn't write that weakness in their game, that's going to come back and bite them at some point this season. 